What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little short. Today, I'm going to be getting my valve cover ready so I can paint my valve cover. I've been wanting to do this video for a little bit um, because I know I have old videos of me painting valve covers. I hope this one turns out better than the ones I've done before, but yeah. Comment down below now if you have any ideas of what paint color I'm going to be using. So I have my valve cover here already. And what I'm going to be first doing is I'm going to be spraying it with this aircraft uh, paint remover. Um, I've never used this before. The one I used to use, um, I don't remember the name of it, but I did get it from O'Reilly's. This one I got at Advance. The last time I painted a valve cover, I sprayed it over and all the paint literally stripped off and it was so easy to do it. So hopefully, I'm hoping that aircraft can take off the rest of the paint. There's barely anything here, so I don't really have much to work with. I put the aircraft paint remover on the valve cover now. It says to wait at least 45 minutes. So I'm about to get I'm about to get this at 30 to 45 minutes. Check up on it again and see where the paint is at. So now I'm going to get the purple power that I have and some water and I'm gonna start sanding it down a little bit, hopefully taking off all the paint from right over here. And the spots that are that have paint remaining not too bad but yeah all right so i cleaned up the valve cover there's barely any any red spots anymore there's a couple over here but i sanded this down so that's the best it can get from there and so since it is getting dark uh what i'm going to do is i'm just going to primer this and leave it overnight just to clear then after that i'm going to come back primer it give it a couple more coats and start painting it All right, so I, I primered the valve cover and the next time I come over here, I will be putting one more coat at least and then doing the color that I'm gonna be doing on the valve cover. What is going on guys? Uh, it's the next day and I'm here at the garage. I just came out of work not too long ago and I came to the garage so I could start uh, finishing off this valve cover because I'm literally almost done. I just have to add a couple more coats of primer, and then I will reveal to you guys what color I'm going to be painting the valve cover. I have my little spot set up. So what I'm going to be doing is since I wasn't here the last time, well, since I wasn't here for a day, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna spray down the valve cover and take off all the dirt and dust that's on it so that way I can primer it one more time, maybe two more times. And then I will reveal the color that I'm going to be painting this valve cover. Just the spots that are not dried up, I'm going to leave it to dry and then after that I'm going to give it one coat of primer 
and then see how it looks from there. Separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension of sound, impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. All right, I just finished the second coat of primer. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna look at it again, and I might just do a third coat. Um, but so far, like it look, it's looking so good. Now I'm gonna show you guys the color that I'm going to be using to paint this valve cover. So the color that I chose to use for this valve cover is this blue that I picked out in Advanced Auto Part. The, the name for it is. Ford Blue. The reason why I picked this is because it's a light color and it's gonna go with what I'm going to do with the engine bay, which that video will be coming out soon. I just know that this blue is going to pop out and it's going to look great on this valve cover. I was going to do a wrinkle blue, but I just thought of doing this blue. Another idea that I have, which I don't know yet if I'm going to be doing it, is to have white splatter over the valve cover. I'm going to let this dry and then we are going to be painting this valve cover Ford Blue. I just put the first coat on and I did a little bit light um, on the camera it looks like I I painted a lot but there's a lot of white spots that I can see on the valve cover second coat I'm gonna keep I'm gonna try to get all the white spots then we'll add a third coat then from there we'll see how it looks now we are putting on the second coat here we go That was the second coat of the blue paint. And so it's looking pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna let this dry, look at it deeply, see if there's any spots that need to be covered or anything like that. And we might do a third coat on this because honestly it's looking good and I want it to look even better than it is now. And then after that, we will wait till the whole thing dries and then do a clear coat and see how it looks from there. All right, so the paint dried and now I'm gonna go with a third coat of the blue paint. So let's get to it. So look at that guys, third coat of the blue paint and it looks super good, better than before. So I think I'm, a, I'm just going to let it dry again and then get on to clear coat. So remember when I was telling you guys that I had an idea to do a certain color on the blue? Well, I did it. I splattered white on top of the blue valve cover. And honestly, I think it looks really nice. It actually looks really nice the way I did it. There were some parts that kind of splattered a little over here. I 
feel like I did a little too much white over here, but it still looks good. And honestly, I, I, I couldn't be more happy with this is actually what I wanted. So yeah, so I'm just waiting for this to dry and then we are going to go with the clear coat. So I'm deciding to leave this for tomorrow because it's really dark outside and honestly I'm really hungry so I'm gonna get food but tomorrow I will get back to this I will do the the clear coat and I think it will be better anyway so that way all the paint can clear and then after that we can get to the clear all right guys so we we're back in the garage this is day I want to say three day three on this valve cover so last night um, I was here and I painted the valve cover the blue with the white splatter and now today I'm going to be finishing it putting the clear coat on it and letting it sit for most of the day and yes let me get everything set up on the floor all right guys now it's time to finish off this valve cover by putting clear coat the clear coat that I'm going to be using is VHT uh, flame proof satin clear uh, they didn't have gloss clear and I don't really want to do a crazy gloss to this color so hopefully this will work and it says it's good for uh, very heavy uh, temperatures so it should be good for the valve cover All right, so that's my first coat of clear coat. And honestly, the way that it looks off the camera, it looks so good. It doesn't even look that glossy and that's the way I wanted it. So let that dry and then add the second and third coat. Alright guys, I let the second coat clear, now I'm gonna head to the third coat, and then from there, we're gonna see how it looks, but it looks so good. Just how the blue shines and in person it looks a lot better but i'm gonna leave the video right here um if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give me a like comment and subscribe i've been i'll see you guys in the next video peace